question says, well, here we have a contour map of function f which are given in blue plus, so let's write this down. These are contour maps for function f. And you have a curve with equation g of x and y equals to eight, which is given to you with the red curve here. The question says, estimate the maximum and minimum of function f subject to this red curve. Very good, so let's do the approximation. Remember that we said that the maximum and minimum of the function f subject to g of x, y equals to c, it actually happens that the gradient of f is parallel to gradient of g. Or when you are looking at the level curves in level curve language, the curves are tangent, tangent to each other. So let's take a look at the values of function f touching the graph of g, am I right? So take a look at this. My function f takes 60, and it seems like at 59, approximately, not 50, not 51, not 52, not 53, not 54. It seems like exactly not 60 as well because they are not touching at 60. Well, the red and blue, they are very close to each other around 50. Nine. So 59 is the answer for the maximum. This is the maximum z value. If your function is written in z equals to f of x and y, the maximum z value is 59. Well, now let's take a look at the minimum value. So the graph of the function takes 20 and at 20, the red and blue graph, they're tangent to each other, am I right? So you're going to say that, hey, my minimum value for my function f, the z value of function f is 20. So that's how we read the contour map when we have a function subject to another function.